Dr. Jeremy Weiss here, founder of InspiredInsider.com, where I talk with inspirational entrepreneurs and leaders like the founders of P90X, Atari, and many more, how they overcome big challenges in life and business. And this is part of the e-commerce mastery series where top sellers and experts teach you what really works to boost your business. Our sponsor today is Rise25.com, where entrepreneurs of six, seven, and eight-figure businesses come together live and in person every few months to solve their biggest business challenges and they leave with lifelong friendships. Check out rise25.com. It's run by myself, co-founder John Corcoran. It's application only and we even give out the coveted Golden Goat Award, but you'll have to come to find that out. Today I'm really excited. We have Edmund Torbati. He's the founder of Label Choices. You know, every time I was doing research for these clean whole health companies, his face and name of his company kept popping up all over the place. Um, it provide, His company provides labels for some of the industry's most recognizable brands. For more than a decade, Label Choices delivered some of the highest quality labels for the cosmetic, bath and body, food and beverage industries, and this includes Makeup Geek, Medulla Beauty, Coconut Girl Ice Cream, which makes me want to eat it after he's describing it before we started, and Nutty But Nice, and so many more. Edmund, thanks for joining me. Thanks for having me, man. This is awesome. I love your energy. I'm so excited to um, do this. Um, Sheila, we've been doing her labels for a while, and she sells was selling at Farmer's Market, and now she's selling at Air One Natural Foods. It's local. And she wants to get in Whole Foods. She wants to get in these places. But we said, look, we're printing your labels, and the print looks good, nutty but nice. But the problem is your artwork sucks. I had to straight up tell her. I said, look, if you're serious, come to the office. Right. We never met. You know, A lot of these clients, you never meet them. Right. But I said, you're local. Come in. At least pay $500. I'll help you out. I'm not trying to make money on the art. And then we Zoomed her in on the call with Stephanie Victor, who's on the team, who's my one of my right hands, basically, he's not only designed, pre-pressed, and he used to work at ABB Labels for years. So we've been like friends, and we worked together for over 10 years. He left as an independent contractor, and with my cousin's blessing, he's been with me. You know? right, right. So the point is, we were sitting in the conference room. We had Stephanie on Zoom. She was here. Stephanie introduces herself to, to Sheila, and we're all in it together, branding her stuff. Let's get this thing done. What do you want? Here are your one, two, three choices. Let's step up your game now because you're competing against this other person who doesn't even have a label. This other person is doing the product but is not as clean as yours. You're doing this dip. Everybody needs to try this dip. It's sprouted almonds. It's, it's natural. It's local. It's fresh. I tried your stuff. It's good. You have Chipotle and this and that, but you're not being seen. Right. You need to step up your packaging. She's like, I agree. $500, I'll agree. And, that, and I understand. But a big company will spend thousands of dollars. Yeah, more than that, yeah. Because we're, we're reinventing her design, her packaging, her logo. And you know what? We're happy to do that for 500 bucks because we're not trying to make the money off of it. It's let's build that relationship. Let's help them grow. Now we're going to promote her. She's right. excited about that. But I told her, not, we're not going to promote your current label. Once you get the new label, right? right we're, we're still in the process. Right. Once you get it, put it on the, on the product, um, then we're going to start promoting it. But we help clients like this. It's now getting to a different level. Before I was like, I don't want to help these small clients out. Now it's like, how can we help you? Yeah. I said, can you get organic local? She said, I can't find organic. In California, there's no such thing anymore. You've got to go to Spain, and it's so expensive. And everything is about fresh and local. So I found the source that Erewhon uses in Santa Monica Co-op, and they buy this guy who's local. It's organic, local, and raw because they pasteurize the almonds. I turned her on to this company. I said, buy from them. Now we could put organic on the label. It's going to be better for everyone energetically, mm. and it's going to be a cleaner product because Air One um, makes their own pressed juices out of those almonds. Mm. Figured it out. And so and then I said, why don't you keep putting these labels on by hand? Let's help you with machine application. Please, how do I go about it? Here's some companies. Yeah, how does that work? Oh, so you can help. There's some companies that... Uh, t talk about the process a little bit, like something like that. Like, does someone they um, I guess have a agreement with a company that has bottles, and those you have to send the labels to that company to apply the them. 
I'm very impressed that you want to know this stuff. Most people don't want to know. I hope this is not boring people, but let's if, if this yeah, is Yeah, I think it's people the, you know, the people who are interested in this are actually doing it, right? Or looking for doing it better. I yeah. find this fascinating. So Yeah, so it's a good question. A lot of these smaller businesses don't know. They just put on by hand and they don't know or they're limited. So what we encourage our clients to do is, depending on what stage they're at, if they're doing 100 labels, like this client, I'll tell you, Baby Clydesdale is a client. We really love them. They're always honest. They're always upfront. They're always appreciative. And I just recently went and visited them. You know, again, they're in the holistic food space. Yeah. They have such a natural hot sauce product. And so I love their sriracha. I even bought it from them, you know. And they're a couple – and David Mead, we connected on Facebook as well. So it's like that personal friendship now. It's like I see what their world is. The guy's a musician. He has a band. He's engaged to Josephine, you know, uh, Justine, sorry. And so, like, I just met them at the show. I saw them hustling. And they're using our labels. And they say everybody loves it. And so that's an example of a clear label. We use newest technology. Let me see if I brought it here. If I did, I'll show it. Um, oh, here it is. So here's an example of, if you go to and check out Baby Clydesdale Hot Sauce and Google it. So it's a very simple. The color of the sriracha, for example, is red, right? And so this is a very simple label. It's a standard clear. They're putting it on by hand. But you can't tell right now. It doesn't look that white. But when you put it on the red or the green or the yellow type of, like, for example, the sauces that they have, yeah. it really pops. It pops out, what yeah. This is, this is UV inks, white. But this is amazing. There's only a handful of presses in the world now that are digital, and that's what this is. It's a digital UV inkjet press. How amazing is that? That mm. means the traditional way to get white to look good yeah. is you have to put it on a screen press. Yeah. And I'll show you some of those. A screen press means you're paying a lot of money to get the white to look really white, and you get the feel. So if you touch it, you have a little feel to it. And so this is actually run on a UV inkjet digital press. Guess what? We can do it because we don't have to invest in these millions of dollars. So we can run UV inkjet digital. We could run liquid toner technology digital. We can run all of these different technologies and we're not limited. Same goes with screen printing. There's all different companies and every company has different finishing equipment. So why is this powerful? No setup fees. None. And we run it right then and there. Like, hey, we have the show. We need it in a few days. Done. No, the traditional guy is going to say, oh, we have to put it on our flexographic and make plates. And we can't get level of detail like this. It's too small. You know, all of this, you know, blah, blah, blah. Right? No problem. That's why we're called label choices, by the way. That's why even when I started my company for whoever's starting it, I wanted to get the domain as the same as the company name, as same as the toll-free number. Right. That's why we have 877 label choices because it was all premeditated, by the way. And choices is because of my pain that I realized I'm stuck with one manufacturer, with one old school press, right. and I don't have the candy store that I could choose from. And that's what we give our clients, but we make it easy. They don't have to choose. We just give them a couple choices based on what we know they need. Yeah. This is it. What do you want? Let's do it. So, Admin, does that person have to hand apply or can they? Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, the good thing you pay them up. So, they're currently hand applying these. But we're talking to them and we're moving them in the direction of educating them that it's going to be easy to get it machine applied. Mm -hmm. So, with them, we're, they, the good news is, they actually might have already machine applied it because I asked, do you have anything? They said, we did buy a press. Uh, we did buy a machine applicator from someone. It was a used one, mm -hmm. but we don't know if it works. So we ended up setting it up the right way because I asked these questions. And again, you know, all of it comes down to, you know, because you care. See, when you have the right intent and you want to serve, everything happens. But if you're greedy and you're all about me and how do I build my brand and how do I make money and it's all about, you know, me, 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 you're coming from a different place. So that message here is go within and be honest with yourself. Why are you doing what you're doing? Now, I've come to realization that my mission is way, way more powerful than my old mission and why I'm running label choices. Mm -hmm. 
we get to different levels, big time. And so now I'm seeing things differently. That's why I'm helping these smaller guys out. These guys who are going to get crushed by the bigger guys if they don't put invest in marketing and innovation and, yeah. and distribution, they're going to get crushed. Because there's two things that run a business, and we tell all of our clients, very big, two things. Number one, innovation, and you know this, and number two is marketing. And the biggest problem small businesses have is they're not innovative enough and they don't market enough. And so that means business fails. And that's the reason why Apple and Google and Facebook and these guys, because they, they excel in these two areas big time. They continue to innovate and they continue to market. And the problem with most product companies, after five years, we, we call them up. Where are you at? What's going on? Oh, I'm still working at Kaiser Permanente. And I'm like, but you have a really good spa product. It's like, you told me all about it. It was from the Dead Sea and, you know, all this stuff. Yeah, but um, my husband did this and that. And at the end of the day, they go nowhere because they're not in The innovation is the product. Sure, maybe they have a good product and it's innovative in some way. The Dead Sea, you know, nobody has it or whatever. But the problem is they forget what I, why I failed in those other two businesses also is because I didn't market and I didn't distribute. So it doesn't matter how good that energy product was. If I didn't know how to get into the stores and get in the right hands, what's the point? So we've learned that lesson over the 20 years. Not over 90%, what's the statistic you've heard in terms of failure rate of businesses? You know, you've been dealing yeah, with Yeah, whatever is like... 90% within five years or something. I don't know if Crazy. that's true or not, but I I would say it's it's even it depends on what you mean by failure. It's like a kid, right? Yeah. Did you raise your kid well? So you have a kid who's spoiled, who treats people bad, is rude to the dad and the mom, and you could say I have a kid, but you could say I have a business, but is it even supporting me? So right, if right. You, if we're really honest with ourselves. Even if a business survives, it's hanging on because it's not innovating, it's not marketing, it's slowly dying. So the statistics are true. The first year, two years, there's a good amount that fail, and then they say within five, ten years, like 90% plus fail. So it depends on who you ask and what statistic, but it's a high number, right? So you wonder why the hell that's the case. There's another reason I want people to know. I brought up this before. What is your purpose? What is your truth? What are you on this planet for? Right? Yeah. I love being an entrepreneur. That's me. But that's not for everyone. Yeah. People want to be what they're supposed to be, a doctor or attorney or a lawyer, entrepreneur or artist. What is your truth? What juice is you? What have you put here for? What is the universe saying? And the messages go with that flow. And so there are three types of people. If you like, I'll explain if you think this will help. Yeah, go ahead. Easy category that helps. So there's the entrepreneur, there's the manager leader, and then there is the artist. So this is a very easy, of course, connecting with energies are true. But for most people, they could digest these three types of people. Now, we could be all three things. We could be even a lot of two things. But what do we want to do is we want to decide which one are we really, if we're honest with ourselves, mm -hmm. which one are we really? And we got to look in the eyes, Jeremy, every one of us, we've got to say, Am I really an entrepreneur? Am I really a manager leader? Or am I more really an artist? And so to explain what that is, it's very simple. An artist is anyone who has a craft that someone pays them to do, right? right? You're a chiropractor, so you could be in between an artist or an entrepreneur. If you have your own practice, right. of course you're an entrepreneur, but you're yeah. also an artist. Yeah. So you could be a little bit of both. But the question is, which one are we really? So the artist is basically like, who would you say is an athlete that is super successful and makes a lot of money because they're good at, at the sport? Who would you say? Yeah, LeBron James. I mean, LeBron James. Yeah. Now, does LeBron James right now, does he run a business? If you're honest with yourself, why does he I mean, he make no, he's a brand himself, but he, I mean, he's not running a business. He yeah. money, but why does he make Not that money? I know of. I mean, maybe he does. Is he an artist? Meaning yeah. his artistry, his craft is basketball. Right. Someone's artistry is sales, right? You look at people like the Chet Holmes of the world and the Zig Ziglar's of the world and the Tony Robbins. If you're so good at what you do, and Brian Tracy, I've seen him live. I saw you're connected with him also on LinkedIn. 
You look at these people, they have their brand and what they're good at. People pay them to come. Teach me sales. Right? Chet Holmes was, he wrote the sales machine. He's all about how do you land the top 100 fortune companies. I saw him live. I hung out with the guy before he passed away. And poor guy, he died because of illness. Young. This is the what I want to avoid. I mean, I suffered. Why should other people suffer? Right? That's the problem. He very successful, but he passed away. What good is that? Mm. And you gotta take a look at that. What was it? Everybody wants to say cancer, cancer. I asked Kumarji. Kumarji is the top monk over there in India. He's the closest to Bhagavan, um, who's founded Oneness University. And I said, okay, you guys talk about psychosomatic is a lot of the reasons why people you know, have diseases and stuff. And I said, what are the other reasons why, you know, like that people have cancer and all this stuff? He said, karmic reasons. So this is a whole other thing that people need to also know. We're going on a different st strand, but karmic, mm -hmm. reasons, karmic reasons, it's like stuff you can't control in your current life. It could be your ancestry. It could be stuff that happened. It could be your grandfather is mad at you, you know, because you dishonored him. It could be so many things and he passed away mm. and he's hurting you in your current life. This stuff, if you told me this like three years ago, I would think, come on, this is bullshit. <laughs> come on, man. So the point is, there's a lots of other things that are affecting us and our current present life, but we could control a lot of that. You don't have to worry about that. But when you go through processes, I, I'm actually a medium as well. I connect with energy. I could connect with people who passed. So, and you see a lot of those people who have mediumships. Do you believe in mediumship yourself, personally? I, I've heard stories of personal friends that, you know, you can't explain it away type of thing. Yeah. Exactly. That's yeah. exactly why I said, if yeah. anyone's a doubter, just go experience it. Just experience it. Just be there. Have someone give you a reading who's connected. Not some BS psychic or something. And not just any psychic. I hung out with a psychic who had a television show, and we actually hung out. She came to a oneness event to Malibu, and she wasn't here. She had a show. I watched her episodes and everything. She's a medium. But you know what I noticed? I noticed that there's different levels. You could be a psychic, just like the work that helped me heal my Crohn's, but you're connecting at the thought level, the fear level. So you could read people's minds, but the problem is it's not the highest consciousness. That's why I encourage people, be very careful. Be very careful if you're going to go in that space. Make sure it's pure and make sure they're helping you get connected, not just give you messages. Does that make sense? Yeah. That's just my experience. So and we got to eye tracked. Yeah. No, you know, like that's why I don't – I do research and I have the questions I want to ask but I kind of let it flow to where, where it goes, you know, because you just, I would never have expected this is where the interview went, which is cool. Um, you know, I appreciate your time. I mean, this has been hugely valuable. Um, I have one last question for you. Um, but first, I want to point people towards where should they check out online? You know, labelchoices.com. They can check out labelchoices.com for your company, website, anywhere else that they should check out online. You know, I, I say that my, my mission, as, as, as we didn't really get into, but you're kind of getting the idea, yeah. it's a higher purpose. And I've been shown that I'm supposed to utilize label choices to serve. Because most people in business are not spiritual or like gurus or like monks. So I meant to look, I'm a business guy, and this is my experience. So if I could be encouraging Please add me. We're all here to help each other. Connect with me on, on LinkedIn on my personal page. Look me up, Edmund Torbati, E-D-M-O-N-D. -E Last name is Torbati, T-O-R-B-A-T-I. Look me up on Twitter. Look me up on um, Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest. And, and if you like to connect with our company pages, connect with them as well um, under Label Choices, Label, L-A-B-E-L, -E Space Choices, C-H-O-I-C-S. And any way we can all connect. Maybe I could turn you on to something. Um, maybe Oneness University doesn't resonate. I'll tell you some other things. Maybe some coaches that could connect. Because I work with some coaches that are very connected that help you go deeper than just the standard Tony Robbins coach. Because that's all mind stuff. So love to connect with anyone. Also, our company number is 877. Call me anytime at the office. 877 Label Choices. 
That's 877-522-3524, um, 877-522-3524, and I'm, I'm extension 701. So um, any way we could all connect, um, that's, that's my mission. I meant to help people raise their consciousness, and um, any way I could be an influence, um, I'm learning every day myself, man. Yeah, yeah. It's a journey. I'm in, I'm in first grade level of, of this stuff, honestly, literally. I, I, I'm humbled because the stuff I see, the miracles I'm seeing, the lift different levels of consciousness with even Oneness University, because I'm meant to go back for like on an 18-year journey. So I'm going to be going back again soon and continue to evolve. So, and I'm mm -hmm. learning from all everybody. So if anybody has anything to want to teach me, please connect with me. Yeah. Well, I mean, I, uh, I appreciate you being so open because some of the stuff you talked about, it's, I mean, you say it now because you've probably dealt with it for a long time, but it's, right. it's really difficult, tough stuff, yeah. you know. Uh, so thank you. Um, of course, I, thank you. Thank you for opening space and, and asking amazing questions as well. Yeah, you're welcome. Um, my last question, Edmund, is I know you're here to serve. Mm -hmm. And who are some of the up-and-coming brands, holistic brands that you're working with that we should highlight? I know you mentioned Nutty But Nice, um, so I figured maybe you mention a few and what they're okay. what they're doing. Well, currently the ones we're working on, I showed you a few of them, and we talked about a few of them. Mm -hmm. um, one of them is I have this sample. Even simple companies like One Man Armies, like um, HeartSpring, for example, they, she does very clean, natural lip balm, and she came and visited us, and she's mm -hmm. local in Santa Monica. So you could see made in Santa Monica. Mm -hmm. She puts on her own label, but very clean stuff, very basic stuff. Um, that we're working with. Um, we just started working with Moon Juice as well. Um, Moon What's Juice that? does like organic pressed juices. And if you go to like Erewhon Natural Foods, they have all kinds of stuff. Um, the great thing is Gabby um, is coming to see us tomorrow again. Um, they've given us a couple projects because they've been working with another label company. And it's understandable. What happens is somebody works with somebody for many years. They match their colors. They're comfortable with them. Um, so it's always, I'm very grateful when someone starts opening up and says, you know what, let's see, maybe you could help us more. And so that's a stage with even Moon Juice. They have so many different types of products that are organic and natural, and hopefully we could help them. So they're printing on craft stock and estate type stocks, but we want to show them different looks. Let's step up your game because their client, again, they want premium labels and hopefully they pay premium. We don't know. We've only done a couple jobs with them. And so if they're willing to, um, we're going to do some amazing things for them. Um, there's a lot of different companies we're talking to. We're doing a, another project uh, with another company called Alpine. Amazing. Hector is the point person, and he's so grateful. Again, very humble, good people, give us a lot of lead times. We just ran the very first job for them, um, which was a sample. They just approved it, and he's blown away. I mean... Like, they love the work. We're running digital with the replica stuff, getting the kind of similar stuff that I told you about with the software and the finishes. So mm -hmm. it's more affordable. And these guys are actually doing very clean. They won awards with, um, with stuff that they're doing in the space of marijuana, which normally in the past I wouldn't. But they're doing it in vape, but they're winning awards. Like, I connected with the energy. I even tried it, and I couldn't believe how strong that thing was. It was so clean. It's way better than smoking it. And, you know, a lot of people, they need it for therapeutic purposes. Some people need this stuff because they can't, they're, they're sick and they're in the hospital and they can't eat instead of taking all these drugs. And so on the label that we printed for them actually gives them awards. Mm. Like, it, not awards, but um, it's lab tested and it shows how clean their stuff is. Right, right. So it's Sativa and the other variation. I forgot the name. But, you know, sativa is one variation of marijuana plant. And so it's meant for vaping, but it's so clean. And these guys care about the brand. So premium, they pay premium, very good people, good energy. Again, so we're starting to work with some really, you know, great companies. And these guys are big. They're doing a lot. So it's not like a small guy, but we love working with anyone. So this is another company we've been working with for a long time, uh, Dermamed. Um, these guys, this is, if you look up Dermamed, um, they do organic, natural skincare cosmetics. And these guys, um, instead of doing craft stock, so a craft stock is basically like this stock we did for Moon Juice. So this is a craft stock. Mm -hmm. 
this is their brand. They just want us to match that sample that they had before. Right. But see, this is not waterproof. But this is waterproof because it's on a plastic stock. Mm. You can't rip it. It's, it's laminate. But we finish it with the matte finishing. So we're doing a lot of these replica foil stamp looks with different designs where we're imitating that kind of natural look. So we're getting very creative in the design and the branding stage. Whether they do it or we do it, um, here's another one. We, we, we're also starting to promote them. They're also doing a CBD hemp cream. And this is Sagley Naturals. And so they do like lotions and skincare. Mm, that looks nice, natural. yeah. And so we, again, we print it on the digital press. This time around, we told them, hey, we noticed your box on your social media. It doesn't match the colors of the green and the gray. They say, oh, can you match it? So she dropped off her box, and we matched it this time around. So on the new, on the new stuff that you're going to see, how much better is it for their brand that yeah. we brought it up? Let's match your stuff. Yeah. So that's the kind of stuff we're doing. So um, I'm grateful to work with, with these type of kind of companies. Um, and holistic isn't about just holistic. It's about good people. You know, yeah. it's people that like that we're meant to work with. It's like the universe is, is putting us together. We're all meant to help each other. So it's not just like, oh, it has to be a natural product. That's not what it's about. Right. Yeah. Edmund, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Look forward to meeting at one of these expos or or yeah. the like. And um, I have a place now. You you anytime. No excuse. Excited, you have a place, so I would be honored if if it's in the flow. You always can you know come and have a place and for you to to stay. For sure, everyone should check out labelchoices.com. Edmund, it's been awesome. It's been a pleasure. Much love.